For today's video, we are going to talk about the things I wish I had when I was an architecture student. These are the things that would have greatly helped me and made my student life easier had I only gotten this thing sooner. I wanted to share this information with you guys because the main goal of this channel is to help you guys out there who are struggling with school. Because I struggled with school, believe it or not, and even I failed a couple of classes and I almost quit architecture altogether. But that's a story for another video. Subscribe so that you don't miss that video. <laughs> Anyways, back to our topic. So the first thing I wish I had earlier when I was in architecture school are fine liners. So when I was in first year, I only had tech pens and boy were those things a hassle to deal with. They were always clogging up and they were always blotting and I have to refill them from time to time. It was really super hassle. So I struggled with these things for two years until I discovered the fine liners. And these were game changers. I no longer had to worry about refilling these things and fine liners are also much cheaper than tech pens. And one of the things that made architecture so time consuming back then was I had to take care of my tech pens. I was so precious with this thing because you always have to return the caps which were these annoying twisty things by the way and you had to be careful not to drop them and all that consumed some valuable time that I could have spent drawing. So that's where the fine liners come in. They have virtually the same use in ink aesthetic is, is that a word ink aesthetic i'm inventing new terms now anyway as i was saying they had the same ink and line quality as tech pens the only difference is that they are easier to use they come in a bunch of line weights and most of them are waterproof my favorite brand of fine liners are micron and unipins which come in at one dollar and fifty cents each and one pen usually lasts me a whole school year most of them even lasted me two years. If you're not using fine liners yet, go and get one and change your life. Second thing I wish I had when I was in architecture school is the adjustable triangle. Back when I was in school, the only triangles I had were the 30 by 60 and 45 degree triangles. And I mean, these things are fine when you get used to them and I survived most of my school life with them. But when I first borrowed my classmates adjustable triangle, my mind was blown how easy it was to use this adjustable triangle thingy. Now, I am no longer limited to 30, 60 or 45 degree lines. I could just adjust the triangle to any angle I desire. The world is my oyster. Did, did I say that right or was it out of context? So another advantage of the adjustable triangle is that you have less clutter on your drafting table. Instead of having two triangle rulers, now you only have one, which gives you more table space. And table space is super important when you're drafting. Another thing I like about this adjustable triangle is that knob thingy on top of it, which makes it so much easier to pick up. With the regular triangles, I often have difficulty picking these things up off the table I often just drag them across the paper and that leads to those annoying mysterious evil black smudges on your paper. With the adjustable triangle, I just pick it up by the knob thingy and boom! No more evil black dirty thingies on my paper. Moving on to the third thing. <sighs> okay, before I move on to the third thing on my list, I would just want to thank the sponsors of this video, Filmora. Without them, I would not be able to bring you guys such good quality content. Okay, so Filmora is a powerful and easy to use video software that requires no prior experience. Both beginners and professionals can make creative and attractive videos with over 300 video effects at your disposal and over 140 beautiful filters. You can now create wonderful videos without having to spend hours on learning the software. Whew, this thing is really next level guys. Anyways, Filmora Video Editor also comes with a ton of stunning animated titles and 25 copyright free songs for you to use for free. <laughs> Unlike Adobe Premiere Pro which requires expert level user experience, Filmora Video Editor is a simple video editing software and a very convenient option for beginners. So if you guys are interested in Filmora Video Editor, check out the link below in the description to download this awesome software and help them, help me, help you if that makes any sense. <laughs> Anyways, back to the video. Water brushes. 
I only found out this thing a couple of years ago. So basically, water brushes are these paint brushes with water inside them. They're kind of like ball pens, but instead of a ball, there's a brush. And instead of ink, there's water inside. So before I discovered these nifty things, I used to use traditional paint brushes, which were particularly useful if you were going to paint a big piece. But if you're only going to paint a small piece, the water brush is very, very useful because you don't have to get water, then pour it into some sort of watercolor palette. This eliminates all that since the water is already inside your brush. So these are very good for details and just painting small parts at a time, like trees, windows, and other tiny stuff. Fourth thing I wish I brought sooner are furniture templates. These are basically a must-have when you're rushing. These tools make planning and drafting floor plans so much easier and so much faster. Furnitures are super important when planning spaces in a floor plan. Furnitures usually dictate the dimensions of your room and orientation of your doors and windows. For example, if you're deciding on what size of bedroom you are going to make, you first begin with the bed, then you lay out the minimum dimension of movement space around the bed, which is around 0.7 to 0.8 meters. Then you want a cabinet beside the bed so you put one and then you add this and boom! You have the basic dimensions of a bedroom. There are a ton of furniture templates out there but I personally use the rod ring ones. There are a ton of furniture guides in this thing like dining fixtures, sofas, kitchen sink, and my favorite of all, the toilet. Because back when I don't have this template, I drew really crappy toilets that look like the avatars you haven't unlocked in a game. Yeah, one of those things. Anyways, moving on to the next thing. The fifth thing on my list is a fan scale. Back when I was in school, I used this triangle scale thingy which worked perfectly for its purpose but it was a little bit too hard to carry around as it was bulky and I find myself rotating this thing endlessly just to find the proper scale I was using. All of that changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the fan scale, master of all measurements, can stop them. Sorry, I got super distracted. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, the fan scale is super small compared to this traditional scale. And at a glance, you can easily find what measurement scale you are looking for. Unlike the triangle scale, which by the way hurts like hell when you step on it, my foot will never be the same ever again. I blame it for my inability to join the NBA. Darn it, triangle scale. <laughs> With that thought, let's go to the next item up our list. And the sixth item I wish I had when I was in school is alcohol markers. When I was in school, I couldn't afford Copics and Prismacolor markers, which were the only alcohol markers available. Let's be honest, I, I still couldn't afford those markers right now. <laughs> Anyway, lucky for me, there are these cheap alcohol markers available online named Touch5 and they work just the same as Copics in the sense that you can blend them together and make cool fading color effects and they look just as good as Copics. So this is a great alternative to using watercolor instead of carrying around paintbrushes and a bottle of water and some watercolor palettes. Now you only have to carry a bunch of pens which are less messier and they dry up super fast. Not the pens in particular, just your rendering will dry up faster than when you went watercolor it. So yeah, moving on. So you can find these alcohol markers online for around 30 bucks for 80 colors, which is crazy cheap. So these alcohol markers in particular have two tips. One is a broad tip for shading a huge area and the other tip is a fine tip for those more detailed spots. Okay, before we end the video, we still have time for one more bonus item. This isn't particularly architectural in nature, but I used it all the time and I wish I had discovered it sooner. This is the friction pen. So for those of you who don't know what a friction pen is, it is basically a crossbreed between a ball pen and a pencil, which sounds kind of horrifying. Just don't try to imagine how a pencil made love to a ball pen. Anyways, a friction pen is a ball pen with ink that can be erased with friction, thus the name Friction pen. It is super useful when taking notes, especially if you're like me and make a ton of mistakes a bunch of times. So a friction pen has this rubber thingy-mobob on one end, which you use to erase the ink. Just don't use this pen on exams and tests because heat removes the ink. If there's someone you hate in class, just lend them this pen during an exam and pray that their test paper gets exposed to heat. <laughs> Don't actually do that guys, that's a very bad idea. On that note, I guess that's all the things I wish I had when I was a student. 
So if you guys like this video, please like, leave a comment and subscribe down below for more videos like this from me, your boy Leon. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace.